Hello, my name is Lila Zulay. Um, I'm representing the Laboratory of Computational Neuroimaging at the Martino Center at MGH. Um, our group consists of around uh, 20 researchers, uh, including uh, junior faculty, senior faculty, um, and postdocs. Uh, and we have lots of different backgrounds, so people come with uh, physics, mathematics, uh, computer science, bioengineering, so it's a vi very diverse group. And some of the major projects that we are working on uh, in our lab are the following. So we do uh, brain image processing for both individual uh, and group analysis. We do a lot of, uh, we work on segmentation tools that do automatic or semi-automatic uh, segmentation of cortical and subcortical areas uh, of the brain. We, um, we are interested in writing algorithms that do intra and intersubject subject uh, spatial alignment uh, between uni and multimodal um, images. And uh, we are also interested in reconstructing different surfaces uh, of the brain. These images that I'm showing uh, are the output of some of our uh, tools. So here on the left, uh, this is a segmentation or anatomical labeling uh, of a particular input, uh, structural uh, MRI image. In the middle, you see the uh, spatial alignment in between an ex vivo and an in vivo MRI scan of the same subject. And on the right-hand side, you see the output of different tractography algorithms that represent um, white matter structure uh, of a neonatal uh, brain. So up until now, in the past 10 years, most of our tools were specialized or were written for um, analyzing uh, images of adult uh, subjects. One of my main uh, focuses or major area of interest is uh, writing tools uh, for pediatric uh, brain MRI images. I'm interested in implementing registration tools um, and segmentation algorithms, uh, particularly targeted in the age range of zero to two years when there's a lot of development that's still uh, happening. And when the tools are ready, uh, I'm closely collaborating with the Children's Hospital in order to test uh, certain uh, clinical hypotheses, for example, about the effects of premature birth uh, on neurodevelopment. We are also, besides looking at the structural images, I'm also interested in looking into um, diffusion tractography analysis. Another um, key component of my research is looking into tools that uh, do the analysis uh, and help with the analysis between ex vivo and um, in vivo brain scans. And the long-term goal uh, of that project is to project or transfer information that we find in um, high resolution ex vivo images or histological findings into the in vivo ac uh, acquisitions. Um, our results, just like in most of the research labs, are uh, published in journals and international conferences, but more important, uh, well, not more importantly, but also our tools um, end up in FreeSurfer, which is a freely uh, available and uh, open source uh, toolkit. And uh, we have a fairly large user base, and we give workshops to the users several times, both local and in international settings. We are open and we are looking for collaborators um, in all sorts of different um, areas. It's easy to find us on the internet. Um, besides all this contact information, we have a Facebook profile. We also have a Twitter um, uh, account, so uh, please come find us. I also wanted to mention that in the poster session, there's one more poster from our group. Anastasia Yandiki presents um, a probabilistic tractography method called Tracula. If you have any questions with respect to that, please find me. Uh, I'm happy to answer any questions. Thank you. Thanks,